Hey everybody, thank you so much for getting on with us tonight or watching the replay. I know there's a few people that couldn't get on that wanted to. Um, so tonight we're gonna talk about a few events we have coming up, a little bit about how to get people to the events, why it's important to get people to those events. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of training on what I'm doing with new ambassadors um, from a, I believe she's Senior Ruby. Um, yeah, she is. Um, Terry Jo Noble, who, is went very quickly to senior ruby i think it's been less than a year and um she got the silver star award trip which if you don't know what that means um is it three people in the company melissa are picked i think three people in the company each month are picked and for the silver star it's three people right that they pick now i, I am for the star silver star award and the it's the top three people that yeah sorry you totally froze up so i'm trying to close every window i have oh. open did ever did i freeze on anybody else or can you guys okay good um so with the silver star trip they it's the top three people who have the most people in their i think it's levels one through four um who hit silver so that means she got a lot of people on her levels one through four to silver. And if you're brand new and don't know what silver means, that means they got three people direct to them that signed up as ambassadors who um, have $100 in PV or got their welcome kit. So it could be either one. It could be 100 in sales or the welcome kit. Usually it's their welcome kit. Um, <clears throat> but if it's not their first month, then that ambassador would, they would need to have three ambassadors that either just signed up and had a welcome kit or had 100 PV. So if they were a month or two, they'd been an ambassador for a little bit, they would have to have 100 PV then um, to, for them to get that silver, that star to become silver. And then, so the person that got silver star is the top three people that had people, the most people in their levels one through four that went silver. So that's a big deal. Um, it's, you know, it's very limited and it's the top people really helping their team. Um, so, um, so she gave, and so I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. But first, I wanna talk about a couple events. So the first one coming up is the big reveal that Plexus sent an email about yesterday, May 6th. It's all, it's online, it will be in Dallas. So Jules were invited, and then local D Dallas ambassadors were invited until it filled up. Now it's filled up and people can't get in um, to go to it in person but everybody can watch it live and if you have not registered make sure that you register if you can't find the link and you can't find your email um, ask your upline and we can get that for you because even if for some reason you can't watch it live like my niece is getting married luckily it's in the evening so i can watch it but if she was getting married in the middle of the day i wouldn't be able to watch it um and but you would still want to register because there's going to be some special that we can I guess purchase and they said we don't really know but there's something that it puts you in line and so the sooner you register the sooner you'll be in line for whatever this thing is we don't know um, so anyways that's May 6 make sure you re have registered um, I'm really excited to see what it is because this is something they've never done before so I'm thinking it's really huge and big and exciting so um, so we'll see um, and then our next live event will be Monday, May 8th, which, Melissa, we, when we talked today, we didn't really realize that's right after this big reveal. So hopefully we'll have something extra something to, to talk, about. talk about. Yeah. Um, so if you haven't been on one of our live events, I wanted to tell you what that's like um, and why you'd want to get people to it. So, and how to get people to it. So the live event is um, something that several of us ambassadors, which I still need to reach out to a couple of people, um, but for sure, Melissa, Carrie, I don't even know how to say her last name. Chanit, I don't know, I have no idea, I'm gonna butcher it. You're, Chinichi. You're, Chinichi. 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 Okay, that's what I would have said, okay. <laughs> um, Melissa, Carrie, Alyssa, and I for sure, we usually have another ambassador or two. We do live videos and what we do is we, um, I actually start out a little bit different, but everybody else, we all tell our testimony. So we tell what Plexus has done for us and you hear a lot of different stories, but you hear some similarities. So it, it just kind of reinforces it. Um, so people get a lot of different stories that they hear, real people telling their stories. And then we go over all of the products. So I go over a few products and each of them go over um, two to three different products. So <clears throat> over about an hour time, they hear 
five to seven different stories and they hear about all the products. But what we also do is we do a drawing, a um, sample, some little fun drawings um, for every video. So they comment, they watch the video, they have to comment a takeaway so we know that they watched it <clears throat> and then they're in the drawing for that video. Um, and then at the very end, we, off, we always offer a special, um, a special for people who sign up within 24 hours or um, order as a preferred customer. So what we've been doing is if they order as a preferred customer within that 24 hours, they get put into a drawing for free shipping. If they order, if they sign up as a new ambassador within that 24 hours, then um, Melissa, I think last time, did we say we were just giving them $10? Or at, yeah, we would give them $10 back and they would be in a drawing to get their $34.95. So one person would get their $34.95 back. Um, and that really worked well last time. So we'll probably do that again. Um, and what we do is we ask the ambassador who they signed up under to pay that $10. They have to get a welcome kit and they have to have their convenience order turned on to qualify for that. So if they sign up under you and get a $100 welcome kit, you earn $25. So you will have earned more than that $10 that you'd be given back to them. Um, and then um, if they are, win the $34.95, um, I think we asked the ambassador to give another 10 and then I would supplement the additional $15. That's what we did last time. Uh, <clears throat> so because you'd make more than that um, $20. So, um, and then we also do a full-size product drawing at the very end and there's a one post they have to comment on and they have to give their numbers um it's like i don't if you haven't been in a live event i can add you to the last one but it gives them numbers you know they want to lose weight they need to you know better sleep they you know they have this they have this and it lists like 25 different things that plexus products you know have helped people with and a lot of those they'll have heard through these different testimonies and they have to comment their numbers on that post and have commented on all the videos. So we want them to watch all the videos because they're really good for them to hear. And then if they do all of that, they're in a drawing for a full size product of their choice up to a $40 retail value. So they're really great. We get really good feedback from them. We usually get new customers, new ambassadors from them. So that's why it's really good for you. Um, it's also really good because they do hear a bunch of stories. They hear, third, fourth, fifth, sixth person validation. We talk about the third person validation. Um, and they can get questions answered. So whichever ambassador is doing the live video is not answering questions, but we ask other ambassadors who are either do, who are doing the live videos and anybody else who will participate and help out to comment um, and answer any questions that they can. So that's the live event. Melissa, anything that I'm forgetting on that, on what it is? I don't think so. They're just really awesome for anyone who hasn't been in it because it's a great way to reach people that we aren't, you know, geographically close to. Great way to get them in. Yeah. Everything wear their jammies. Not a big deal. Yeah. And great we do, introduction. And it's on a Facebook Live, so they don't even have to do the Zoom thing that we do for this. Um, so, um, so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how to get people to that and really it's just following up, posting and following up. So you cannot um, just post about it and expect that you're going to get any participants. You may get one or two people. If you're brand new, you might get a few more because you've had, you know, you've got brand new people that are seeing your posts, but it's very likely from posting, you won't get anybody but you could. So we definitely say to post and I try to post about it every day, depending on how much time, if we're doing it for a full week, I might do every other day. If we end up sharing for about four days, I post every day. Um, and, um, but following up is key and reaching out to people. So if you have, that's where you want to keep organized. Anybody who's talked to you about Plexus and it, when you're first starting out, you're going to think, Oh, you know, so-and-so and so-and-so has talked to me. I'm going to remember that, but it's going to build over time if you're consistently posting and talking to people. So you want to have some kind of system in place to know who has asked you about Plexus, who you've talked about Plexus. There may be people that you talk to when you're out and about. It may not all just be Facebook people. So you want to have a way of keeping a list, whether you have them written in a notebook, whether you do, I do my Plexus organizer, which has a section and it has, um, let me find a blank one. I, I know I've showed this before, but um, I don't want to show one with people's information. That's an ambassador one. Um, 
I should have pulled one of these out, but here's one with leads and it just has a lot of information. You write down like what you've talked to them about, what they want help with. Um, you can do index cards, whatever works for you. And I, I know my sister-in-law Carrie um, at the beginning had index cards on a, um, a little ring thing. Um, I've done them in a box where I had them organized a certain way. Melissa, were you going to jump in? With I was going to, yeah, I wanted to say um, after you do the replay of this call, um, Alyssa has a fantastic PDF of sheets that look just like that. I have that same binder and I don't like it because it's tiny. I, yeah. I need an eight and a half by 11. So I'll share that PDF in the group. Okay, cool. He wants it. Okay. Thank you, Paula. Um, I just saw your message. So um, I actually love this because I throw it in my bag and an eight by 10 or eight and a half by 11 would be too big for me. So you've got to figure out what works for you. Melissa wants bigger to write more. I want smaller to take it with me because I take it everywhere. It's got my calendar and everything. So you have to find what works for you, but that is key is to having some kind of organization to know who you've talked to, um, to, to follow up with people. So anybody who's asked you about Plexus, every time we have something, I follow up with people. Um, my list has gotten very huge of who do I follow up with, who I need to follow up with. So I don't always follow up with everybody every time. Um, but, and I've got a video on follow up, which I'll share in the comments of this video. I'm not going to go into a lot of that, but when we post about the live event, I give you some wording on messaging people to help you. Um, if you're a type of person who likes to copy and paste things, if you like to do it on your own, by all means, write whatever you want to people. But, um, but I invite anybody who's asked about Plexus and reach out to people, especially if you're brand new, people that you want to tell Plexus about, people that you want on your team or think could really benefit from these products and ask them to get on those. Um, these live events cost you nothing. Um, Melissa is help, helps me out with the products and um, we've got other, some other team members who have offered to help with the seven day and I'm sure if we needed some help with this they would so they're great things that cost you nothing and can really really help your business so um, so that's the live event um, and then on Monday May 15th we are doing another Plexus 101 which we did one before um, <clears throat> they're for brand new people and anybody can get on so if you haven't been on one of these I'd encourage you to get on the next one um, we, we got really good feedback from the last one. We went over the products, what to expect, even some negative things you can affect, you know, expect because of detoxin and candida die off, um, tips for taking the products and information about the products. And the people that got on were really excited and said, you know, just really helped them. Uh, and it's for new customers and new ambassadors um, or really any customer and any ambassador we're doing it for the new people but if people want to get on and learn more and haven't been on one then um they'd be great for them so that'll be monday may 15th anything you want to add to that melissa okay um and then the next thing i want to talk about was our seven day challenges so um we have cheyenne's going right now and we have um one that we're doing right now we um and we have another one coming up, so which will be in May, and it's about a month away. But I just wanted to give it to you. Um, and I would not start promote. I wouldn't start promoting any of these until we talk about them in the team event, because you usually want to promote things the most ten days out, usually closer to a week out, or you're going to have people that RSVP and forget about it, um, or it's too far out and they're not going to RSVP because they don't know what's going on yet. So um, our next seven day challenge will be Monday, May twenty second. But I just want to talk a little bit about how those go if i think most of you guys have been on them but um we do daily challenges where they have a chance at daily prizes we do sample product prizes throughout the week they there's also a chance at extra credit where people we ask people to post on their wall it's totally optional we usually have i'd say a third of the people maybe a quarter of the people that do that but for the people that do that it really helps you and it it helps them to see that a lot of times they'll have um, friends comment on it and ask what it is or say I've even had where people have said I use Plexus too and I love it so they get a third person validation of you know somebody that's not part of our team that comments on it um, but that let that's where a lot of times we see people sign as ambassadors because they 
see that their friends are asking about it and they realize, oh, that's all I have to do is talk to people. And I have some people who are already asking me about it and they decide to sign up as an ambassador. Um, and, we, and then we talk about the products throughout because at the end we have a full-size product drawing for people who participate throughout the week and a full-size product drawing for extra credit at the end. These we have tweaked and we really love the way we do our seven day challenges. We get amazing feedback every time. It's exciting every time. We love that post where it asks people um, the positive things they're noticing. And um, we always have new customers and new ambassadors sign up for them. So they're again, great for your business. And the same thing on why, and then we also do some um, video testimonies in there. Um, so they get that validation, they hear some more stories, they get some information, they've got motivation and fun, there's prizes involved. Um, and it's great for your business because of all of that. And it's, and the way to get people there again is reaching out. And I also, when I post about that, I give you things that you can copy and paste. And again, you can use what I do and, or you can make your own, you can tweak what I um, post. So anything to add to that, Melissa? <clears throat> okay. Um, so that was everything I want to talk about the events coming up. If any of you guys have any questions about those events, um, feel free to unmute yourself and um, and ask away. But I'm going to talk a little bit about what I wanted to do training on, but I'm going to post a video. Um, Terry Jo Noble was on Allison Creek's um, team video, which is actually on Elizabeth Credno's um, YouTube page. At least it was. I'm hoping it's still there for me to share. And here, I'm, I'm in a group with Cheyenne and Kim's team's um, gems, which are rubies and senior rubies. And we've just thrown out different ideas. And T Terry Jo had talked about how she gets new people started. Um, <clears throat> and so I just started that and I, I've talked to Robin about it. And what I was just talking to my Aunt Star when we first got on was the same thing. And so what she does, and and I can post some of the comments she's done also, but she talks on this video call that she did with Allison and gives more detail. So I'm going to post that and I hope that you guys will take the time to watch that because it's really, she's really good. She's been very successful. Um, <clears throat> but what she does is she <clears throat> always asks people when they first sign up to make a post. Now, um, sometimes you'll have people that aren't ready for that, but she always asks them and she words it in a, and, so there's a couple different things. When she's talking to somebody um, that's signing up, she asks them if they want to get their products paid for or be a silent pink drinker. And she said, who doesn't want to get their products paid for? So almost everybody says that they want to get their products paid for. There are people that want to be a silent pink drinker. So, but a lot of times that changes after they notice some positive side effects. Um, but when they say that they want to get their products paid for, she says, okay, then what I want you to do is I want you to make your first Plexus post. She tells them exactly what to post and I'll put that in the comments of the replay. Um, <clears throat> very short and sweet, pretty much just saying she's excited, they're excited to get started with Plexus and thank you and they tag, they would tag their sponsor. Um, <clears throat> and then she tells them that anybody that comments um, on it and asks what it is or makes any kind of comment, she, has them go and comment, respond, reply back to them, tag them so you're sure that they see it. They're more likely to see it if they're tagged in it. And just say, um, Robin, I'm sending you a message. And then she will, she tells them exactly what to send in this message. And um, she, so say Robin's the person who commented, Melissa's the ambassador who's the brand new ambassador. So Melissa would make a message with her sponsor me and Robin who commented and in the message <clears throat> Terry Joe tells them exactly what to post so that's what I did with Robin today and it's really just hey Robin um, I I added Melissa to this um, no yeah Melissa would be the one doing it so she would say hey Robin I added Christina to this message my friend Christina to this message you never want to say upline or sponsor you want to say my friend or my like my um, niece, I told my aunt star to say my niece, because uh, I don't really know what an upline or a sponsor is. So my friend, I added my friend Christina to this message. Um, she's been doing Plexus for a long time and can, can give some information, answer questions. I can't remember exactly what it is, but I send, I 
sent that to my um, to both Robin and Star Today when I, we were, I was telling them about this, and and then she kind of she takes over from there. So the sponsor takes over. The new ambassador can kind of learn what to say. They can learn. They're going to learn about what the products can do. They're going to learn how to respond to people. So it's a great learning tool. It's a great third person validation, and it's really working well for her. Um, <clears throat> she also does a lot of voice messaging. So Robin and I had a three way message today. And I asked the person, which is what I got the suggestion from Terry Joe. She asks the person um, if they can listen to a video, I mean, a voice message, or if it's better if it's typed out. So I asked her that. She said she could listen. So I did voice messages. They're easier. They can hear your excitement. You know, um, <clears throat> you don't have to worry about how they're reading into things. Um, if she said that she couldn't listen because you might somebody might have a job where they can't listen, um, then I would have typed everything out. Um, so that, and there's more to it. And Terry Joe really talks about it more. And I think it's like a 40 minute call, but it is great, great tips on there. Great. Exactly how she's doing and what, how it's working for her team and just some great information. Um, <clears throat> so that's really what I wanted to talk to you about. I just started doing it. Um, so I'm excited to see where it goes. Um, do you guys have any questions or anything on that? Okay, I'm going to stop the recording and we can still chat afterwards, so don't hang up. Thank you guys for watching. Good night.